guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a first impressions makeup look a full face of the same brand which is kind of interesting something I've never really tried before and it is also new because I ordered it from QVC which is something I've never done before I am not kind of a TV shopper I never really order anything from things like QVC but I saw this deal and I just had to get it because it's from a brand that I love and that I know and that I trust will just be a good product before I go ahead and jump into it I just want to say a few things sorry for the hair I just threw it up to get it out of my face secondly sorry about my face right now I have no foundation no makeup no anything on and that is because I will be doing a full face with this product and I really wanted that first impression so I'm not someone who watches QVC as I mentioned, but my mom tends to like to kind of just flip through channels and watch it every once in a while and she actually texted me with this and said I saw this I thought of you I think you should get it I went ahead and checked out the deal and she was right I was immediately a sucker for it immediately ordered it and that is the Tarte good for you glamour makeup kit and it is just an amazing deal and they are still selling it if you are interested in this video if you like the look it creates it is a six piece set that if it were to retail separately it would be over $180 I actually purchased this for only $65 plus free shipping, so it was a really, really good deal, and I am really excited to try it. However, I will say that I had to order a foundation stick that wasn't necessarily a match to my skin. I'm a little afraid it'll be too dark, but they were all sold out of the very lightest shade, so I had to get the shade up, and the shade of the, in this kit is light. I know they have a lot of other shades available right now, but I'm sure they are selling out fast, so if you are interested in this, get it while it lasts, because you will not see it at this price again. Tarte doesn't really do too many sales as far as makeup brands go so this was an amazing deal that I just had to jump on. I know they are selling a few other things through QVC. I think it's one of the first times that I've ever partnered with them but I'm not really sure about it but regardless I got this and I am so excited to try it. The kit comes with two brushes as well as a mascara, a foundation stick, and a palette. The palette includes a bronzer, a blush, a highlighter, as well as six eyeshadow shades. So you're getting a full face of makeup for only $65, which is great. Before we jump in, I just want to mention the only products that are not Tarte today are my priming and setting spray, as well as my brow tools, but I will go over that when we get there. The rest of this is all Tarte. This is a full face of Tarte kind of review, kind of tutorial. And I hope you guys like it. So without further ado, we are going to jump in the box and see what's inside. I also forgot to mention that this kit comes with a bag, which is really cool. And we also talk about this packaging. It is so cute. So when you open it, there is a purple bag that kind of falls out of the bottom. This bag is pretty small as far as makeup bags go. To travel, I have to use a really large bag since I have a lot of makeup. But it's not bad. It's a pretty purple color. So it's kind of a good little addition. I didn't realize that it came with a bag. So... It's kind of a good little surprise. All right, so this is it. These are all the products you get in this bundle. It is a crazy amount for only $65, especially when we're talking high-end makeup like this. And they call this set an Amazonian clay set, which I love. I love their Amazonian clay shadows. I prefer them a lot more over just their regular shadows. I am so glad that all of this has that clay in it. I just find that they blend really, really easily, and I really like that about this product. Without further ado, I'm going to break into some of these. I am so excited, and I will just bring them up kind of as they come through the tutorial. Obviously, going to start with the foundation stick after I get my face primed. So to prime my face for this look, I will be using the Too Faced 3-in-1 Hangover Primer slash Setting Spray. I only use this as a primer. I feel that it works a lot better as a primer than it does as a setting spray. So I'll quickly put some of this on and then dry it down real quick and I will be right back. Alright, so now that I primed my face and went ahead and set it so it's nice and tacky, I'm going to start by applying the foundation. This is the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation in the shade Light Beige. Again, if I were to buy this separately, I probably would have went a little lighter, but I didn't really get a choice with this kit, so I'm really hoping this matches. I love the packaging on these. They come with a really cute little stone right there. Personally, I have never loved a foundation stick before. I really prefer a foundation that is more watery than it is thick, so a foundation stick has never really been my go-to, but I'm excited to see how this product does. It has really good reviews, so maybe I will fall in love with this. I'm not quite sure. I will be blending the foundation stick out today with the brush that came in the set. This is Tarte's foundation brush. It is pretty short, pretty stiff, pretty stipply like I'm someone who loves to apply my foundation with a beauty blender, so a brush is a little foreign to me. But for the purpose of this video, I will stick it through and I will use this brush. 
I will say that this brush feels incredible. It's heavy. It feels very luxurious. And I do think it's going to do a good job. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start applying this. The foundation comes in a tube that twists up just like this, and it is approximately 0.32 ounces of product. So not as much as you would typically get with a liquid foundation. Typically that's more around an ounce. I am hoping that this foundation has good coverage since it is kind of a smaller amount, but we will go ahead and see. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this foundation stick just kind of a little bit in these areas. Right off the bat, I can tell that it's probably a little too dark for my skin, but I'm hoping I can go ahead and lighten it up. I think that'll be enough. I'm not quite sure. We will have to see. I'm just going to blend this out, kind of stipple it in. Alright, so I went ahead and put that first layer of foundation on and kind of zoomed in the camera so you can see it a little bit better. I have to say that it's not my favorite right off the bat. I feel it's a bit splotchy due to the tendency of the formula, but it does give a very kind of natural look. It's definitely a little too dark for my skin tone, which makes me a little uncomfortable, but it's not something that would be too noticeable, especially probably in this lighting. It probably doesn't look that off, but it is a slightly too dark and kind of looking a little blotchy to me. I am going to go ahead and touch up some areas. I didn't really cover kind of some blemishes down here or up there, and I just need a little bit more coverage, but I do like how natural this is coming off. I have a problem with kind of makeup looking cakey on my skin because it is so dry, but this definitely kind of melts into my skin, which I am really liking. All right, so that is the foundation. And my overall thoughts on it is it's actually pretty good. The second layer of it kind of made me fall in love with it a little bit more. It is really pretty easy to blend with this brush, but I think the real star of the show is actually the brush. I actually really like using this and I didn't think I would. It is really soft, really good at smoothing, and I feel like I have really good control with this, which I really like. I just wish the foundation was slightly lighter and had a little bit more coverage for what it is. I do feel with such a small amount that it could do with being a little bit more full coverage, you didn't need so much of it. However, it did layer quite nicely. I just am a little afraid it's looking a little blotchier than I would like it to, but it's nothing like too, too bad. I will say that it does feel quite nice. It feels like I don't really have to set this as much as I would another foundation. And I am liking that it's not quite dewy, it's not quite matte, it's definitely kind of a satiny nice finish. I can definitely see myself using this foundation on kind of a no makeup makeup day. It's something that is really fast and really easy. Maybe even throwing this in my purse when I travel so I have a kind of a foundation touch up right in this small little package. I actually like this more than I thought I would so right now we're off to a really good start. All right so the next thing I am going to do is go ahead and conceal my under eyes and just kind of highlight my face and to do that I am going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is one of the products that did not come in the bundle, but I'm someone who just cannot go without concealer. I really love my concealer. This is in the lightest shade. This is the fair shade. I use this concealer quite often. I do find that it's a pretty good concealer, just like everyone says it is. However, it's not my absolute favorite. I do find that the shade isn't quite light enough for me, actually. I wish it was a little bit more on the neutral side instead of having kind of a yellower undertone, but it isn't bad. You don't need a lot of it, which I like and I'm thinking that's going to blend quite nicely with this foundation since they're really similar and from the same brand, or at least I would hope they would. To blend this, I did clean off this brush and I'm going to try to use this. If I'm not liking the way this is looking, I will use my damn beauty blender that I love for my under eyes, but I will see how this works first. Alright, so you guys see I didn't reach my beauty blender there, I just used this brush, and wow, 
I'm actually really, really happy with this brush. I'm really loving this. I think it did a really good job of blending out my concealer. It definitely doesn't look as creasy as it usually does, which I love. And I also feel like I could almost get away without setting this concealer. I know Shape Tape is one of those concealers that doesn't really need to be set as much as some other ones. And I think I will just kind of fly without setting it for now, just to see how it really holds up against this foundation. But I just am loving this combination with a little bit of a deeper foundation with that really light shape tape. This shade of the concealer typically gets lost in my other foundations since it does match way better. But I actually think the darker foundation is working in favor with the lighter shape tape right now. It is creating a good kind of highlight look, which I really like. I just wish that this foundation again was blending a little bit better with my neck. I'm a little self-conscious about it. I feel like I'm constantly like, sorry about that. Hopefully I can warm that up with bronzer and kind of fix that a little bit. But again, that is not a fault to the actual formula. That is just, they were out of my shade. I know they do carry my shade, so don't go thinking that this is a bad product just because it isn't quite matching me. I actually really like how it feels, really like how the shape tape feels over it, and so far really liking this look. So the next thing we are going to do is go ahead and bronze up my face, put a little blush on, and to do that we're going to be using the Ladies Night palette that came in the bundle as well as the blending brush that came in the bundle. I will say, just like the other brush, this one feels very heavy, very luxurious. It is a little smaller than I like most of my blending brushes. It doesn't feel kind of as full, but it is very soft and I loved the other brush, so I think this one's gonna be okay. The Ladies Night palette is the palette that comes with this. It is the palette that includes the blushes, the bronzer, the highlight, as well as the six eyeshadows. You can see that this palette is really pretty, really pinky, and I just love pink palettes. Ooh, I'm such a sucker for them. It is kind of almost, it actually like smells amazing too, like that scent kind of caught me off guard there, but I am really, really liking it. We have the bronzer down here, the highlighter right here, and the blush right in the middle, and these are all Amazonian Clay products. I will try to use absolutely everything in this palette today, including all those eyeshadows for an eye look, but first I'm actually going to start by warming up my face using this bronzer. The name of the bronzer I will be using is called Happiest Hour, and that is right here. For that, I'm going to try to use this brush. I don't have a big kind of powder brush in front of me, so I'm hoping this kind of does a good job, but we will see. Obviously this is a foundation brush, so it isn't really meant to be doing this. However, so far so good. I think it's actually not doing a bad of a job, which kind of surprises me. I'm just gonna pop to this mirror real quick. This bronzer blends out probably better than any bronzer I've ever tried before, which is saying something, because I love me some bronzers. But like you see there, it like, looks a little intense on my face. A little stripey and then it just like vanishes sinks into the skin which I love I think it makes a very subtle bronze and I love a good subtle bronze I don't really like too stripey too contoury too edgy too fleeky I just want something that's gonna slightly contour my face without looking over the top as far as the shade goes on this bronzer I'm actually really liking it it's definitely not too warm for my pale skin. It's definitely a cool tone kind of brown, which I really like. And again, the formula just is really good on this. And this brush is actually doing quite a good job blending it out. It's really nice that I've done this whole look just using one brush so far, and I have just been cleaning it in between. I don't have to really deeply clean or anything. I've just been kind of patting it on a brush cleaner. So overall, I'm really impressed still, but we will keep going and see. All right, so I went ahead and finished the bronzer. I will say that I love this shade. I love this formula. I love how much it's sinking in my skin. I actually really like it with this brush, which I didn't think I would. However, I will say that I really like to deepen right here and right here, just to give that a little bit more intense contour. Just give me a little something something. And this shade isn't really building that well. I keep going to kind of darken this and it just keeps diffusing right into the skin. Obviously, I don't think this is a terrible thing. Obviously, it's a really great blending kind of bronzer, but I just wish it was giving me a little bit more of an intense look. It's definitely something I can overlook for now. I don't think it's 
bad. It is very subtle enough that it probably isn't showing up on camera as much as it looks on the skin, but it is very pretty, very glowy, very natural, and I do really like that about this. Since this brush has been so good at blending, I'm gonna go ahead and use it for the blush too. This may be pushing it a little bit, but we will see. If I can complete this whole look with one brush, I'll be happy girl. The blush in this palette is called Glam. It is a very light pink. I have a feeling it's going to be, again, just like the bronzer, a very natural look, which is not a bad thing. I do like the occasional natural look, but we will just see how it applies. Hopefully this goes on just as smooth as the bronzer. I really hate blushes that go on really blotchy, so hopefully we'll get that same kind of buttery, diffused kind of formula. I'm just going to go ahead and knock into it with this brush, pick up a little bit of pigment, and let's just see. All right, so unlike the bronzer in this collection, the blush definitely is way more buildable, way more pigmented. So you can see that I went a little intense on the blush. I overshot it just a little bit with the pigment. However, I'm someone who really likes that kind of very flushed look. I think it looks good with my pale skin, and this is definitely giving me a flushed look that does not look blotchy. So, so far, really good from this bundle. I'm really liking this, and this brush, I think it blended this quite amazingly. All right, for the sake of timing for this video, I went ahead and applied highlighter and went ahead and filled in my brows. The highlighter I used was right from this palette. It is called Gal Pal. And you know, it actually did better than I thought it would. I wish it would show up on camera a little bit more. It is a very pretty kind of champagne shimmer color. It is showing up a little bit ashy on the skin. I'm hoping you can't see any lines, but you might be able to. The nose highlight is really, really pretty. I just wish that cheek highlight was a little bit more intense. I also wish that it had more of a peachy or pinky undertone to match the blush. I feel they are contrasting each other a little bit, but I think overall it looks pretty good. To fill in my brows, I went ahead and used the ColourPop Brow Precision Tool in the shade Black and Brown. Just really quickly went over them, didn't do anything too dramatic for this look. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into my eye look using the brush that came in the kit as well as the palette. I'm going to start here with this white shade, which is called Selfie. I'm just going to use this shade here to set the concealer that was on my eye and just give myself a good base. The next shade I am going to go into is the shade right above it, and that is the shade Payday. I'm liking this brush all right so far. I'm not picking up as much color as I wanted to. I know it's not the shadows because I own Amazonian clay shadows that are really good and I really love, but we will see how it does with this crease. All right, so I really like that crease color. I think it looks really good. The next shade I'm going to use is called Clutch, and that is the top one right here. This one has a little bit of a shimmer to it, whereas the other two were matte. I'm just going to keep building that darker crease to make a really nice kind of ombre effect. All right, so I really, really liked that color. I think it looked really good. These shades are just so easy to blend. I love this formula and I always have, but this one does not disappoint. Continuing, just kind of following this line, we are going to use the shade Blowout now, which is this brighter pink. This is the one shade in this palette that I don't feel quite fits. I'm just gonna be using a little bit of it kind of on the middle of my crease, just kind of adding to that ombre, but I'm not gonna use this color too much, just because I feel it's a little too bright for kind of this more nudie pink look. I'm 
All right, I take it back. I actually really like that shade. It is a little bit darker than I would like it to be, but it is very pretty and that shimmer looks really, really nice. To go ahead and complete that shimmery look that we just applied, I'm going to continue this line and apply the shade Own It, which is this really, really pretty gold, and just put that around my inner corners and blend that into the previous shade. Then I'm gonna go and just kind of blend it all. I'll probably use a little bit of the selfie shade, the first shade I used just to really help blend it. And then the last thing I will do is apply a dark corner. Alright, so I went ahead and applied that gold Own It shade, and it's probably my least favorite shade I've used so far. I just find that it was really, really hard to blend, and I just feel now I look a little patchy, and I do not like that. I almost wish that I would have went in with the highlighter to kind of get that inner glow, but I will be going in with that highlighter for the inner eye highlight and the brow bone highlight. But first, I'm going to be taking the shade Vanity, which is this darkest one right here, and just kind of trying to darken up that corner, maybe help blend things a little more. I just feel like once I added that Own It shade that it became really, really hard to blend, and I do not like that. I think it still looks good. I think it's still really pretty. I just, that gold is just kind of throwing me off a little bit. All right, so that is the completed eyeshadow look for this palette. And overall, I really, really like this. I'm still not a fan of that gold shade on my eyes right now. I feel like it kind of pulled the look, kind of a weird hue on my skin tone, but I think it's still really gorgeous. I think all of the shades blended really nice. I have to say that the highlighter works really well as a brow bone highlight and an inner eye corner highlight. I think the overall look is really pretty, really pinky, really kind of blushy and warm, and I really, really like that. It's surprisingly pulling more of a fall palette for me than it is a summer palette, and I really enjoy that since it is fall now. But that is the completed eye look. I really, really like it. And now just to add the mascara. So this bundle comes with the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I have never tried this. I've heard good things about it, but we will see. I'm not really a huge fan of this packaging. I feel that because it's kind of clothy, it's gonna get really dirty. I am a huge fan of rubber applicators, not bristle applicators with my mascara. My favorite is Benefit Roller Lash. It's got a good applicator. It is a rubber one that I love. I am just going to use the mirror from this palette and we will see how it applies. So 
So that is with the first layer of mascara. I'm going to go ahead and do two layers. I always do two layers with my mascara, but so far I am quite liking this and I'm a little surprised. So that is the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. It reminds me a lot of the Benefit The Real Mascara, but it isn't quite as good as the Roller Lash just because I can't get that same curl effect. However, I really like this and it's vegan, which Benefit is not. So I do like that this is vegan. And I'm actually, you know, surprisingly, I am really liking this. I think it did a good job of making my lashes look really full. I especially liked what it did with the under eye lashes in this look. And overall, I think my eyes look really gorgeous really pretty, just really ready for fall. All right, so the last thing we need to complete this look is a lip product. Luckily, one came right in the bundle. This is the last product from the bundle and the last product I will be trying today. This is in the shade Sass, and it is both a lipstick product, as you can see there, as well as a lip gloss right at the bottom. It unscrews there. So I will be trying both. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down just the regular color and put some gloss over it. I am a little nervous about this color, I have to admit. It seems a little very undertone-ish, but we will see how it looks. All right, so that is the lipstick portion of this lip product. And you know, I really love how buttery and creamy it is, but I do find that it's a little messy. I just feel like it's not gonna stay where it is. I feel like this is a product that will probably last me a good hour and then it's gonna be a mess or all over my face or just not as reliable as a liquid lip product. The color isn't actually as bad as I thought it would be on me. I'm kind of liking the slight, slight, very undertone. I think it looks pretty nice with the eyeshadow. So we are going to head and add the lip gloss on top of it and see if this looks ridiculous or makes it look better. Again, I just, oh, I just feel like this is kind of a little sloppy and I don't like that. All right, so that is the lip gloss and I really like the effect it actually put over that color. I think it made it look a little bit more rich. It is still a little messy for my liking. I think it'll just kind of be that way. It is the nature of this creamy lipstick lip gloss combination. But overall, I think the shine adds a really healthy kind of glow to the lips, which I'm really liking. And I think the overall look is really pretty. I think I'm really happy with this bundle. I would definitely recommend only paying $65 for these products. I think you could definitely pick and choose what colors you want to use and make a lot of different looks. And I think it's really pretty. I feel really ready for fall right now. I am just going to quickly set this and I will be right back. All right, so that completes this look, which means that completes this video. And overall, love this. I was really happy with everything. My favorite part was actually probably this foundation brush. I think it was really versatile, really good. And I'll probably be trying this with a lot of my other foundations, which is kind of rare for me since I am such a beauty blender girl. But the other thing I really enjoyed from this palette was the bronzer. I don't really have a bronzer that's as buttery as that one, so I really, really liked the effect it is giving my skin. It's just something that's really subtle, and I feel really, like, glowy and just ready for fall. And I also can see this being ready for spring, too. I think it's a really versatile palette. My least favorite product was probably the lip products, even though even this was pretty good on itself. I think this is just a little too messy. I think this is going to come off with any kind of drinking any kind of eating and this is going to be gone a mess all over your face however everything else seems to be holding up really well the foundation is good the highlight is good 
And I just think that this is a really pretty look and I am thrilled that everything turned out good. I really, really like how this palette is just kind of a one and done, take this, and you can basically do a full phase of makeup, highlight, blush, bronzer, eyeshadow, it is all here. And I really, really like that. It has a great mirror on it, just like most Tarte products do. So overall, I mean, I don't think I could be happier with this purchase. Cute packaging, free bag, really, really great deal, over half off of all of these things. Thumbs up for me, love this bundle, definitely recommend it. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more stuff like this, just let me know. Again, this bundle I purchased on QVC. This isn't sponsored or anything, just letting you know. And it is $65 for a limited time. So if you really are liking this look, I definitely recommend picking it up as soon as you can. So I will go ahead and see you guys next time. Go ahead and like and subscribe, it really helps me out. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Thanks.